What's up guys? I'm Alex from APE and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be continuing the E30 VR6 project, uh, specifically working on the subframe. So let's get to it. So as shown in previous episode of my E30 VR6 project, uh, with the final mock-up of the engine, I realized that I needed to move the steering rack in order to give me enough room for the oil pump. So I created some new steering rack brackets to lower the steering rack by about three quarters of an inch, which should give me enough room for my oil pan and oil pickup. Once the bottom of the subframe is tacked up, I was able to cut the top of the subframe and also remove the steering rack mounts. In order to have enough room for my oil pump and oil pan, I will be reducing the height of the rear of the subframe while also lowering the steering rack position. I created some steel plates for the front and rear of the subframe on my plasma table out of some quarter inch steel to ensure that the subframe is as strong as stock or probably even stronger than stock. For the top part of the subframe, I'll be using some cardboard to cut out a template to have the exact shape of the part. Once I have the correct fit, I'll transfer the templates onto some steel and cut them out using my plasma cutter. So the last thing to weld onto the subframe are the two steering rack brackets. These are held in place with the steering rack to ensure proper fit. And now that everything is tacked in, I can fully weld the entire subframe. So here is the final result installed on the car after a nice little coat of paint. So we do still have all our brackets for our steering rack and gained a lot of room on the rear of the subframe, which will make it the oil pan fabrication a lot easier. Uh, the steering rack column will still fit since I only moved it by three quarters of an inch. The only thing left to do to keep my steering geometry will be to extend my tie rod ends, but this will be done in a later date when the car is ready to drive. So yes, I will be losing a little bit of ground clearance, but this is expected uh, with this kind of change. So there you have it guys, the subframe is done. So in the next video, I'm going to be working on the oil pan and the oiling system. 
So thanks for watching and see you next time.